Is Golden Sun even worth your time? Golden Sun is an RPG developed out of Japan by Camelot Software Planning and published by Nintendo for the Game Boy Advance. The story starts off like most RPGs, a teenage protagonist happily existing in their hometown when BAM! Trauma. Now, I won't spoil the story too much for you because it's fantastic, but people die, get kidnapped, and disappear amid natural disasters, all culminating in our young hero's decision to do as any of us would do at 17 years old. Take a nap. Save everyone! Ultimately, Isaac and his best friend Garrett set out on an adventure, leaving their home in Vale to travel across the countries of Angara and Gondwin to save the world of Wayard from a group of mysterious interlopers hell-bent on putting balls into a hole. Our heroes travel the continent, accumulating and utilizing powers called Synergy to overcome various obstacles and puzzles while also enlisting the help of new allies like Cole Sprouse, Billie Eilish, and my personal favorite, the Ginny. The Ginny are sweet little creatures who aid you in your quest with potent attacks, buffs, debuffs, and the ability to summon powerful deities in battle. Much like other Nintendo IPs, you may have to beat some sense into them before they help you, but we've all played Pokemon, right? What's a little aggressive persuasion, if it means saving the world? In the end, the story wraps up nicely with a cliffhanger and, spoiler alert, there is a sequel but we'll talk about that another day. Clocking in at about 22 hours average completion time, Golden Sun is the perfect length for all types of gamers. Even if you're not normally a fan of RPGs, the admittedly log-heavy synergy puzzles stimulate the left hemisphere of your brain and the beautiful overworld tickles the right while adding plenty of exploratory value. For the hardcore nerds, there are even optional dungeons and bosses to challenge yourself with. Speaking of bosses, this game features a whopping 16 of them, so if you don't love grinding, don't worry, the game is paced quite nicely. Well, it's no wonder then that it performed so well commercially. It was released in North America in 2001, and just there alone sold a respectable 740,000 copies. IGN's Craig Harris said that Golden Sun could arguably be one of the best 2D-based Japanese RPGs created for any system. Well, and it's interesting that he put it that way. You see, much like Mother 3, Golden Sun was actually originally planned as an N64 title. Now, I'm glad though that Golden Sun ended up on the Game Boy Advance, and glad yet that I got to experience it as a child. Because now, well, I can draw this comparison. You see, I recently replayed it, on this exact channel in fact, and the game still holds up. That's in no small part due to the excellent work put in by Mitoi Sakuraba. His work on the soundtrack helped create the emotional response that I and so many other experienced at each of the game's pivotal moments. Not only that, but I found myself listening to the Veil theme on repeat. What? The, the, the world needs to be saved? Hold on. So, all that said, the question we're here to address. Is Golden Sun even worth your time? The answer to that is a resounding yes! Gameplay, 10 out of 10. Story, 10 out of 10. Music, 10 out of 10. Use of logs, 10 out of freaking 10. Now, I can't say when Golden Sun will come to the Nintendo Switch, but you better rev up that Nintendo Switch Online subscription because it is on its way and you need to experience it. So thank you so much for watching. This has been LP. I play Nintendo games and I talk a lot. And if you're into that, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.